to 6 to Thursday. You don't have to register before you go. And KBC 9 is your home for all things vaccine and COVID-19. You can find the next clinic in your area. Just download the KBC 9 News app. It is free wherever you get your apps. Beautiful day. We're in for a warm and dry night, but apparently this isn't going to last long. <laughs> First alert chief meteorologist Brian Busby is here with what to expect next. I hope you have a photographic memory. <laughs> I'll try. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a photographic memory because the numbers you see behind me, the leaves may be orange, but the map by tomorrow is going to be showing you the blues as the colder air moves in. It's currently 71 in Kansas City, 69 in Maryville, 72 in Lawrence. Shouldn't come as a surprise that we're talking about a change moving in. Pierce, South Dakota, 55, Grand Island, 65. That's the cooler air that's going to move through on a shifting wind, and it doesn't show much in the way of rainfall. We're not expecting much. But once the system moves through, boy, the temperatures will drop like a rock. I look for this front to pass through later on this evening, and as it does so, thicker clouds may be ringing out a shower after midnight or so. Another chance tomorrow, late morning or early afternoon. But the big emphasis here, the takeaway, is the fact that we're going to be at least 20 degrees colder tomorrow in the afternoon, closer to normal for this time of year. And once the colder air is here, it's going to settle for several days in a row. You'll see that in the nine day forecast. Plus, we'll look at first alert future scan, see who's going to get wet coming up. Now turning to commitment 2022, the Republican race for the Missouri U.S. Senate seat has another candidate. Missouri Senate President Dave Schatz is now in the race. Schatz led the successful effort to raise the state's gas tax, the first increase in more than 20 years. At least five prominent Republicans are already in the race for Roy Blunt's Senate seat. Blunt is retiring at the end of his term in 2022. And the city is starting to take a serious look at a new mass transit line. And this one could run from the KU Hospital to the sports complex. KBC 9's Michael Mahoney has the details. Michael. Yeah, Laura, several governments on both sides of the state line are looking at this. This would be a major modern east-west transit line. This would not be an all streetcar line, but it might have streetcar components. A seven and a half mile route between the KU Medical Center and the Truman Sports Complex. Whether that be bus rapid transit or other bus services, so it really is a multimodal effort. The free streetcar downtown has been a success and it's expanding. Right now it runs right by Pat Carroll's Gallup Map Store. People get off the streetcar and say, yeah, I saw you on the streetcar, and they'll come back and they'll buy something from me, and I, I do get a benefit out of it. Jaron says Kansas City's East-West Transit could use improvement. We know we have east-west connectivity needs in the city today. We have current transit ridership that's high in those corridors. But Pat Carroll remains a skeptic about Kansas City and broad public transit. My buddies up there, when we go to Chicago, we're, we're going to walk. You know, they, they're used to walking. My friends here in Kansas City, we're not used to walking.